In this video, we're gonna take a brief look at the interface for Sample 1 XT and the different parameters that are, av are available or the different sections. And then in future videos, we're gonna take a closer look at each one. So for now, let's just start at the very top in the header section here. When we drag in a Sample 1, we can see that this is labeled as Sample 1. We can click on that and we can actually rename that. So if we had a vocal in here, for instance, we can just go ahead and name that vocal, I'll press enter. And now this has updated here. We then have um, favorite, we can favorite this VST instrument, disable, and then just come back up here to re-enable that. We also have remove to remove the instrument and show in console, that's gonna bring up the mix console with the channel for the sample one and the side panel opened up here here so we can add our inserts and sends. I'll go ahead and close that back out. Let's get our sample one back up. And that is everything there. We then have our power to disable. We have bypass, which we'll leave it powered on, but not play back the sample that we have loaded. We have an area for working with our presets. And again, we'll take a closer look at that in a later video. We can use these arrows to move left and right or previous and next of our samples. We have a drop down to choose patches. We have direct input here. So what this means is that in our track column to the left here, if I expand that out, we can see this is set up to receive MIDI from all of our inputs that we have connected. Now, if I were to disable that and trigger with my QWERTY keyboard or a MIDI keyboard, nothing's gonna happen because that's been disabled. But we do have this direct input option here. So if I were to choose, say, the QWERTY keyboard and then trigger with that, even though this has been disabled here, it's still going to trigger this device. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put that back to none and let's take that back to our QWERTY keyboard. Next in line, we have an area for choosing our automation mode. And if you'd like to know more about automation within Studio One, you can click on the link here. We then have compare, copy, and paste. So if I were to, if I'm kind of tweaking a sound or a sample and I want to experiment a bit without worrying about losing my settings, say if I were to adjust the attack here and bring that up, bring this one up, and take this one all the way up. I could then just come to compare. It's gonna take those, just notice those attack settings. Once I click compare, they return back to their initial setting. If I prefer the changes that I've made, then I can click that once again, and then they return to those adjustments. But I'm just gonna do Control Z to take those back to their original positions. We then have copy, so if we have settings that we'd like and we have another instance of sample one, we can click the copy button, go to that second instance of sample one and then click paste and it's going to paste those settings for the parameters within that second instance of sample one. Now to the right here we have a gear icon that if we click that we expand out and we have these different panels here. This is going to be a parameter display here. So it kind of ties in what, with what we have in the arrange view in the upper left hand corner. So if I click on the transpose, that's going to update and show the transpose and its current setting, which is zero. As I move this down to the left, we can see we are now reduced by minus 32 semitones. Now we also have this A here. This is another feature for automation. So since I clicked on the transpose, let me go ahead and click on the tune. And then if I press the A, what this is gonna do is add an automation lane within our arrange view so that we can then add automation manually for the tuning. So while we have that selected, I'll click A and just notice here in the track column, see this has changed. So we have the tune and we can go ahead and click and add points and automate that manually. I'm gonna just go ahead and control Z. And then to the right here, we have a drop down menu where we can see recently touched parameters and then just select those to add automation or view what their uh, setting or value is currently. We next have control so we can choose whether we want to have the sample one controlled by our QWERTY keyboard or a MIDI keyboard that we have connected. Currently, or right now, I don't have one connected. Otherwise, we would see it here. We can also add a MIDI device by clicking here. 
Now below that we have four tabs. The first one is Wave, which is going to give us a visual display of a sample that we have loaded within sample one. We next have Mapping, where we can map that sample to our MIDI keyboard or pads on the MIDI controller. We then have an area for envelopes where we have a visual display that ties in with our pitch filter and amp envelopes down below. So as I adjust the amp here, we can see that that's going to be updated in our visual display. We can also come to these areas here and then just grab these points and drag to make adjustments. Then as you can see down below, those update to reflect our changes here. Now finally, we have record here, and this is going to give us controls for working with live recording or live sampling into Sample One XT, which is a much appreciated new feature in the Studio One 4 update. Then all the way to the right here, we have the Personas icon where we can just click that repeatedly. I'm sure you have all seen that where you can cycle between different colors for the interface. I'm just gonna come back to the default white color here. Now, all the way to the right here, we have our samples list, and this is where we can load samples, and we can actually load up to 96 samples into sample one. Now, towards the bottom here, we have our pitch filter and amp controls, and these tie in as we just saw with the mapping, or not the mapping, but the envelopes tab up above. So we can control our attack, decay, sustain, and release here. We've got transpose, cutoff for filter, gain, controls that most of us are familiar with. And again, in a separate video, we're gonna go into uh, in more depth into these for those of you who are not familiar with them. Then to the right here, we have a global volume control, glide controls, and then at the bottom, a display for voices. Now, this first display is gonna show how many voices are playing back currently. The second number is our voice limit. So how many voices can play back at one time? Now we can just click hold and enter a value in here. So we can take that up to 64 is the maximum. Let me just try 70 to be sure I got that right. Yeah, 64 is the maximum voice limit that we have there. By default, it's on 32. And then all the way to the left here, we have an effects button and a keyboard button. Now this is going to, the keyboard button will open up a virtual keyboard that is playable. We can trigger our samples with this keyboard. We also have pitch and mod wheel and a bend, bend amount for the mod wheel. Now I'll go ahead and close that back up. Above we have an effects button to open up the effects panel and we actually have two different banks. So effects A, we have modulation, delay, and reverb. And then in bank B, we have gate control, EQ, distortion, and panning. And I'll just go ahead and close that one up. Okay, so that was just a very brief introduction to the interface for Sample One XT. It's just so we can get our bearings. And now that we've got that down, in future videos, we're gonna take a closer look at the wave, the mapping, envelopes, record, the envelopes below here, each of the effects. So we're gonna go into detail in each of those and each one will actually have its own video, which will be a bit of a shorter format versus trying to cover everything in one longer, just to make it a bit more manageable. And in the next video, we're actually gonna cover loading samples within to sample one. So if you're interested in checking that out, just click on the link up above right about here.